Dear students, welcome back to my video classes on economics. This is Mr. Mihir Sina. In today's class, I am going to discuss on an imperfect market structure that is known as monopolistic competition. It is one of the most commonly practiced market structure in today's world. So it is also treated as one of the most modern or real world economic situation. This market model was first advocated or founded by one of the renowned economists named Professor Edward Hastings Chamberlain in his book The Theory of Monopolistic Competition published in 1933 and another economist named Professor Joan Robinson who has also made some contributions for the development of this model in his book The Economics of Imperfect Competition. This is the brief background history of the evolution of this model in economics. Now from, this mod from the name of this model, we can imagine that the market model includes two basic elements of the two market model. One is monopoly, another is perfect competition. Now how it is defined? It is defined as a market model in which there are many producers or firms who are producing goods with slight differentiation in its quality. These two basic elements define the market monopolistic competition and these two elements also makes the market very close to the model, market model that is perfect competition. As in perfect competition, there are a large number of firms who are producing goods, homogeneous goods or we may say identical goods to one another and charges a price which is fixed for all firms. Similarly, in monopolistic competition market also, many producers who are producing a particular similar commodity with some differences in its quality. That differences in quality of goods makes the market a type of imperfect competition. Otherwise, it will be treated as perfect competition. In real world, whatever goods are produced or sold, that may be consumer or producer goods, which are produced with slight differentiations in its quality, that is the reason it is treated as most modern market situation. In its features, firstly, there is a presence of large number of large number of firms who are selling goods with slight differentiation in its quality. We may take the example of toothpaste, in which different quality toothpastes are produced by different firms. Number two. The firm has some influence on its price determination power as like monopoly it is related to the element of monopoly. As in monopoly, the firm has the patent right and has the authority to control the entire market supply and restricts its output and charge a price which is always higher than the marginal cost or you may say that minimum of average cost. Hence, the firm to maximize its profit always has the opportunity to lower the price. As a result, its demand curve under monopoly market is always downward sloping. Just like monopoly in monopolistic competitive market also, the firm who are producing a particular commodity with some quality differences has some monopoly rights to restrict its output and charge a price which is also greater than the marginal cost and the greater than the minimum of average cost. As a result, as like monopoly, in monopolistic competition market also, the demand curve of a firm is always downward sloping. 
this element makes the market monopoly competition one next another important factor or feature that is presence of selling or advertisement cost it is also called to be a non price competition because the firms who are existing in the monopolistic competitive industry always tries to establish the differences in quality of their goods produced through consumer education that is we may say advertisements to improve the sales of its products they are spending huge amount of money which is treated as selling cost or advertisement cost and this element makes the market most modern and real world economic situation and this model also makes the monopolistic competitive market different from monopoly and perfect competition because in monopoly and perfect competition there are only one type of cost exist that is production cost but in monopolistic competitive firm due to sales expenditure cost becomes two types out of two types one is production cost another is selling or advertisement cost next there is free entry and exit as like perfect competition in monopolistic competition market also new rival firms may enter into the market without any barriers though the barriers are very low because of low cost of production new firms may enter into the market without any restrictions as a result the another feature that is super normal profit cannot be earned in the long run as the new firm new rival firms will enter into the market when the monopolistic competitive industry is earning super normal profit the new firms will enter into the market until the profit is not squeezed out as a result in the long run ar or revenue becomes equal to cost price will become equal to cost as a result zero profit will be earned in the long run and we may say no economic profit will be earned in the long run these are the basic features and another feature that is last feature that is absence of allocative or productive efficiency in production in the long run as like monopoly monopolistic competitive firm also produce a level which is always less than the average minimum cost minimum average cost means the firm is always produce at a level where his average cost is higher than the minimum it means the firm has the opportunity to produce more at a lower cost which will be a socially optimum level of output but to earn maximum profit the competitive firm produces or restricts its output at a level higher his average cost is higher than the minimum and his marginal cost is also less than the it's less than its price or its price is greater than the marginal cost as a result the resources becomes under allocated and the efficiency of production is not neither efficiency of production is achieved nor allocative efficiency is also as couldn't achieved these are the important features last feature is i have included as it is included in the new cbcs syllabus under assam university this much is the this is the these are the basic features of monopolistic competitive market and in next video i'll try to upload the profit maximizing level of how profit maximizing level of output are determined or price are determined in both short and long run 
under monopolistic competition market and what is the level of efficient level of what is the productively efficient and allocatively efficient level of output in the long